Although we're all susceptible to brain fog, some of the worst cases have been identified in those who doctors call COVID long haulers, or those who had the virus, healed from the virus, but still feel unable to get going like they did before. In February, the National Institutes of Health opened a study into long COVID and its effects here in America. It hopes to answer a few questions, like why some patients get worse and longer lasting symptoms while others don't, as well as if the virus itself triggers heart or brain disorders. Two known studies in England and Italy showed that long haulers did experience brain fog more commonly than non-COVID patients. However, long haulers coping with brain fog improved over the course of the study. Their bodies may have just responded to being sick with the side effects rather than having the virus itself. Carmine Pariante, a professor of biological psychiatry at King's College in London, says brain fog is the cognitive equivalent of feeling emotionally distressed, almost in the way the brain expresses sadness beyond the emotion. Until formal conclusions are found, doctors recommend three things. The first, get aerobic exercise. It releases a protein called brain-derived neurotrophic factor that makes it easier for cells to connect and grow. Second, eat a Mediterranean diet of fruits, veggies, nuts, beans, and whole grains to improve heart health while avoiding drugs and alcohol. Lastly, use cognitive stimulants like board games or puzzles to work the cerebral cortex. When socializing, try something different, like a new outdoor activity. The variety fires new synapses and improves mood. As we continue to evolve our collective response to COVID, making safe changes to your routine can have a lasting impact on your physical and mental well-being.